Hello, beautiful souls. Stacy Overman here, the founder of the nine week new you spiritual awakening program. I want to talk about today feeling blocked from your gifts. Um, I keep having this issue pop up. I keep hearing it. Um, I know I've felt it. And so I'm, I'm wondering if there's more of you that are experiencing this frustration around feeling blocked. Many of you call it blocked, right? So sometimes I feel like another good word for it is feeling stuck. And so what I'm talking about here is those of you that are feeling super annoyed that you've come so far in your spiritual awakening and for some reason or another, all of a sudden you just came up on this wall, right? It's happened to me. Um, I have experienced that. I've felt that. <laughs> and it is, it's super frustrating because many of you in here that are light workers, you know you have psychic abilities. You know that you have mediumship abilities. Maybe you were even um, a healer, right? You know you have these gifts. And something typically happens in life, something traumatic, and all of a sudden, it's like everything comes to a halt. Now, maybe some of your gifts have been turned down, way down for some reason, and you want them back. Or, like what happened to me is they didn't turn down, I just, like, things like stopped. I was graduating, I was ascending, I was moving forward, there was new things happening all the time and all of a sudden everything just stopped. And I felt like there was a wall. There was like this door that I could not figure out how to unlock. I couldn't figure out how to get over that wall. And it, it's really interesting because many of us here in this group experienced our gifts awakening, sometimes even fire hosing at us full blast all of a sudden because we had something traumatic happen in life. And so all of a sudden, bam, that switch hit and they were on, right? And, and you're like going, wow, what do I do with all this? So many of you in here, that's happened over the last few years, maybe even way longer than that. Maybe you had a near-death experience. Maybe you had something traumatic happen, a divorce, lost a job, lost a loved one. Whatever that might be, snapped open that remembering process in your life. Then all of a sudden, we come up against this thing in life that happens again that's dramatic, that's traumatic, like something happened. Bam. Spouse left you. Bam. There was, in, you know, um, an affair and, you know, you found out all this stuff and, and it's overwhelming or, whoa, you just got let go of your job. The company's downsized everybody and literally you cannot even afford to pay your bills because you were paycheck to paycheck or, you know, whatever that might be, something traumatic hit again, okay? And all of your gifts now stopped. And that is frustrating. I have been there. That, that has happened to me. I remember I was sensing spirit. I was seeing synchronicities. I was seeing signs. I was getting signs. And sometimes I was even getting divine messages for other people. And, but all of a sudden, it's like I couldn't go any further. I'm like, but I know in my heart I'm supposed to go further. I know in my heart that there's more and I got to get over this wall and I can't figure out why there's a wall. And I could not for the life of me figure that out. And I was, I was really pissed off about it. And I don't know if, how you feel about it, but I was really pissed. Like I was getting jealous because I could see all these people that I took classes from my mentor with. They were moving forward. They were doing more. They were getting more. And I'm like, why? What's happening? And I can really remember, I was pissed. I was frustrated. I was mad. I'm like, I know God laid this on my heart. I know I'm supposed to help more people. I know I'm supposed to go further. And I had to get over that wall. I had to figure out how to do that. And the, the weird thing is, many of my clients 
have said very similar things to me. I have heard they've read every book they can get their hands on. They have gone to every event, spiritual event that they can go to. They have hired teachers to help them. They've taken many classes, many courses. Um, they've bought online little courses here and there. And um, they've even joined, I've kind of, I'm just remembering like some of the things my, my clients have said, they've joined these little circle groups so that they could practice and, and get going and get going more and further and further and get over that wall. But for some reason, they could not get over that wall. In fact, they started to kind of like back away from their gifts and feel kind of bad because it's like they knew there's more to all of this. Like there's, God laid this in their path for a reason. And they knew they could feel it. They could feel it with every fiber of their body that they've got to get over that wall. And they had, had not found the right teacher or the right helper or hadn't found out how to do that. And so I hear that a lot when I have these discovery calls with when these people become my clients. And, uh, and once they get in the program and they figure out, oh my gosh, I just got over that wall. I'm talking tears of joy. I am talking, they are so happy. I have gotten numerous, numerous emails, phone calls, texts, posts on Facebook. I could not have done this without your help. I could not have been this far without your help. I could not have gotten over that wall, knocked that wall down without the things that I was able to teach them and help them. So if that sounds like you and you're ready to stop this nonsense of being stuck up against that wall, hi, Lisa, if you're, really, if you're ready to say, you know what, that wall's got to come down. I'm ready to stop this. We got to figure this out. Reach out to me because I know that I can get you the same results that I've gotten my clients and I got myself. All right, we'll talk to you next time. You guys have a great day.